messed up for every lane. This is Jesse Torero with Gil Got Skills in the house to be on AVE TV, live from Westwood, California. That's at the Crest Theater and... We're from the community to the world. It's AV Entertainment Live. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> I did it. See, you didn't even give me a hint. <laughs> yeah, you see, I'll just drop it on you just like that. We're at the Crest Theater. I want you to see it on our channel. So we're going to kind of keep it a little bit surprised and maybe you'll get it. When oh, no, 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 we got to tell. We got to tell. We got to tell. Yes, we can't. We can't. No, we got to tell. Okay. In fact, we don't really have to tell them. All we have to no, do no, 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 is show them. The war that pitted brother against brother was coming to a close. But in the West, another war was about to begin. You ain't walking out of this room with your own two feet, Dylan. Oh, I beg to differ. What I got changed me forever. What is your life worth to you, Mr. McCray? Well, I love it, man. It is called... So, so step back. Come on now. It is called Six Gun Savior. Is that cool or what? This is what's going to be going on today. We're going to have all the actors in here. And we're going to be interviewing them, and you're going to see it live on in AV Entertainment wait, wait Live. Wait a second, wait a second. I think we're going to get the... Wait a minute, where'd she go? Lorraine, Lorraine Ziff. Lorraine Ziff is somewhere around here. She ran away from us. So we got you next. You're coming back to us, you promise? All right, you don't go away, man. All right, so we got her we next. Got, we got her next, so we'll get her in this, right, in this so we'll bag of tricks, right? right? That's right. So um, It's a kind of a cramped space in here. There's media everywhere. But ain't, there, ain't there another Ziff? Well, there is another Ziff. There's a Matthew Ziff around here somewhere. We're going to be tracking down all the stars of the movie. Uh, hopefully, Eric Roberts will be here. Uh, Martin Cove will be here, hopefully. Of Six Gun Savior. And uh, we're proud to be here at the Crest Theater, aventertainmentlive.com. www.aventertainmentlive.com. The Six Gun Savior. Starring uh, uh, Eric Roberts, Martin Cove, uh, Lorena Ziff, Matthew Ziff is in this, uh, plus a, a lineage of stars. There are so many that I have to get the the cheater notes out. Okay. So Got to get the cheater notes out, and frankly, I can't see. So will you help me? Uh, now we got we got these already, but let's let's, let's see some of these other stars. We got Martin Cove. Okay. And then we have Lucia Carrero. Yes. And then we have. We're gonna see. We're testing his. We're testing his ability to pronounce names on the fly. We have Jason Matthew Smith. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. We got one of the stars. Come on in here. Hi. Absolutely. There you are. There you are. How are you? Good. Good. And you? I'm well. It's been uh, since Mansion of Blood we saw oh, each right. other last. Yeah. Memories, yeah. yeah. We were at the Egyptian Theater together, that's right. we sure and uh, were. we were we were down at the end of the red carpet. And what what took place when she walked in <laughs> and she came down at the end of the red carpet? It, it was a showstopper. We had a good time. In fact, it stopped Gil and I right in the middle of the show. Let me let me let me confirm how it happened. She's like, um, let me see. What's um on um, Batman? What's the name of the girl? Robin? No, no, no. Cat, 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 Catwoman. On the new Batman, with um okay with Jack Nicholson, the girl. Um, the girl. Um, oh, okay. Well, I, I'm I'm not gonna reach in there and get it. So come on now. You can do it, baby. You can get it. See, <laughs> you got me all messed up now. No, so how can you not be messed up with this beautiful, beautiful woman? No, no. Anyway, um. The girl. From okay, we'll get back to that story in just a second because Gil's having a brain freeze in the beauty of this lady. I got to see these two guys, and I thought, oh my goodness, what fun! Oh no, <laughs> we always are the fun of the party. Always having a good time. Okay, Jesse, I'm gonna go get some popcorn. We're gonna we'll be back. Okay. <laughs> so anyhow, tell us about your new movie because it's exciting. It's a western. It's tell, a supernatural. Western. Why a western? Tell us about it's, that. It's a supernatural western. So there's. Cowboys and Indians, but there's also demons, and the devil is Eric Roberts, and the mentor, who's a bad guy, is Marty Cove, and he's trying to find me and take my powers, and there I am, right there in the center. There she oh, goes. oh, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm breaking all camera technique, right here, right here, look at it. <laughs> 
and I take people's lives. I allow them to decide if they're going to do the right thing or not. It is said that when death itself walks the earth, it will bring about the end of days. I wish I'd never been born. Tell the beauty of an actress is when her photograph doesn't give her any justice in person. Am I scoring points? Thank you so much. You are indeed scoring points. <laughs> I figured it out. Okay. You gave him a little breather time. I figured it out. I figured it out. It's the girl from Batman with the Joker. Um, bass singer. There you go. Oh. He just gained a whole lot of points. He might as go get a hot dog. <laughs> so, a supernatural western thriller would be something that would be so exciting to do. Kind of cool, right? Uh, Frank Sanka came to me. He had it on uh, a web and he showed me one episode or two episodes and he said, what do you think? And I said, I think we can take this into the movies. I think we can make it bigger than a webisode. And here we are. I saw one of the clips with uh, Eric Roberts. He had these red, devilish, Satan demon eyes. That was really scary. And he did, and Marty and I both wear cat eyes. Wow. So we have these so crazy yeah, the glowing, contacts. Huh? Yeah. yeah, the glowing in there. Uh, but um, I'm going to ask you something, OK? Yeah. Do you die? I cannot tell you. Oh. I am death. I, I am death. I'm the embodiment of death. So. Yeah, yeah, so think about when you're just, mine, huh? you're right there at the end, and, and I come walking in. <laughs> Wait a minute, I, I think there's a supernatural twist. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, figure that out. <laughs> we'll have you back up. We'll talk some more. I know you got to go out there and mingle, mingle, and talk and talk. Everybody wants your time. Everybody wants, everybody wants a piece, a piece of, of the devilish woman. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, she's not devilish. She's no, nice. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Lorraine Ziff, everybody. Lorraine Ziff. Oh, it's just great. Six Guns Savior. And uh, we are going to see it tonight. It's going to it's going to break out. It's a great event happening right now here at the Crest Theater on AV Entertainment Live. Thank you very much for stopping in. Don't go away. Kim Basinger, eat your heart out. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this guy is awesome. <laughs> Well, you see, you see, Gil always has the skills because he's got the skills. He's smooth. <laughs> wow, that was a lot of fun, man. That was a lot of fun. See, um, don't, don't, don't ever underestimate the skills, all right? <laughs> oh, you can't underestimate Gil, man. I've known this guy since he was a wee bit high of a rat. Uh, what was I going to say, grasshopper or a grasshopper? He's, talk, it, he's talking two languages. Yes, I'm talking, yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. She, she was great. Uh, she was beautiful. Oh, she <laughs> is a beautiful woman. But, you know, I had the opportunity to see some of the movie clips. Hey, you know, and, and, no, wait a minute. Wait a second. I had an opportunity to see some of the movie clips. It's it's really cool, man. It's kind of a scary movie, and she, she holds down a great part. Hey, but you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm holding your waist right now. Yeah. It feels sloppy. It don't feel nothing as good as hers. Nice and tight. Man. <laughs> oh, gee, thank, thanks a lot, Gil. I didn't know you quite thought of me about like that, you know. You know. <laughs> Get away from me. All right. All right, no. All right, we're here at the Crest Theater. It's AV Entertainment Live, AVE TV Live at www.aventertainmentlive.com. You've got to come down here, check out the Crest, check out this new movie. Look for it, Six Gun Savior. It is going to be a crazy, crazy, wild ride, and we're looking forward to it. We're live on the red carpet, baby, on the red carpet. So don't forget, from the community to the world, it's... AVEntertainmentLive.com. Gil, I'm going to hand this over to you in just a second. We're going to take a quick break, and then uh, you pick it up. I'm going to go grab some of the stars and get them in line for us, okay? All right, All right. so we're going to station identification break right now. So um, we're out. We're fishing down the reel here. We're reeling them in. We're looking for some more stars to talk to. In fact, we have... Uh, Hopefully, we're going to get one of the main stars, this gentleman right here, Martin Cove. I can see him just down the, the red carpet row a little bit, and uh, we're going to hopefully be able to bring him in here because Martin Cove has, has been around for so long. But oh, wait a minute. Right, right now, we have a lovely lady. This time, we got somebody a lot prettier than him. So um, 
Jesse, hit the road, Nancy. I mean, I got to go. Why do I always got to go when the pretty ladies show up? Tamara, you are an integral part of this film. Tell us what you do. Well, I'm not so integral. My name is really small. I'm an associate producer. Oh, say that. oh yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Associate producer. Yeah, that really might be small. really small, but she's really tall. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, associate producer basically is a person that just takes everything in her hands and just makes everything function. Uh, oh. and, and we're, the go, we're the gophers. <laughs> well, you're the go-to person. <laughs> That's true. Uh, hold on. So you're like the GoPro hero then, huh? Absolutely. Oh, you know, right. if it wasn't for us little associate producers, the movie That's would never right. take place. There, yeah, there wouldn't be no zip. No, so, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just so I'm going to kind of exchange our our places a little bit. Oh, oh, my oh. sandwich now. I love oh. it. A man I'm sandwich. sandwiched. <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm, uh, that's, hmm, uh, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> ham sandwich or bologna? Uh, ham. Okay, I'm ham, he's bologna. No. <laughs> that's true, probably both, yeah. <laughs> she got the best of both worlds. No. Boy, I love Hollywood. <laughs> I certainly do. At AviatorTainmentLive.com. So how was it being the associate producer of such a wild and raucous film? Because a lot of the actors are telling us that they just had a, a great time with the horses and westerns and six-gun um, sort of a savior? You know, it's a little crazy. I did a lot of food service on it, and to keep that many people fed was absolutely insane as it was. But, um, you know, if it wasn't for Frank Zenka, the man behind the film, I don't think this thing would have went off the way that it did and as smoothly as it has gone. It, it just phenomenal. Uh, I'm Frank Zenka. I uh, wrote and produced the film. Uh, I wrote it with the director, Kirk Murray, and uh, it was a uh, kind of an amalgam of our two ideas put together. Um, and then we were able to get an incredible cast. Uh, you know, our budget was very tiny uh, in comparison to any other, you know, major blockbuster film. And, uh, you know, we shot it over a period of 21 days, but those 21 days were a period of two and a half years. <laughs> well, well, I will say, man, within that little budget, I mean, you made it look like a fantastic movie. Yeah, we had some incredible stunt uh, doubles and fight coordinators and stuff like that that we were able to, uh, you know, make the fight scenes uh, look semi-realistic. And then we had the effects. Uh, we had some really good effects guys um, come in and do, uh, we had 400 effect shots. So it took us almost eight months just to do the effect shots. Wow. Yeah, it was, uh, it was definitely a long journey. Then we ended up with, uh, with Henry's great uh score you know to back everything up and the sound design and it just all came together keeping everybody happy the morale up he did that you know he kept everybody paid which of course is the key factor in making it stop, stop a <laughs> wait paid oh, you we like paid. you should we oh like don't goodness. we like paid his eyebrows went up high yeah. they're up there somewhere well, still. Wait, italian comes out you know when it you got, wasn't a lot of pay okay. <laughs> one of our leads is here to I, talk to oh, you I, oh i can't wait to, to to interview this man he's he's got so many things to talk about thank you so much for your time and i really appreciate your publicity on this don't forget give a good rating on the movie go buy the movie go check it out when it comes out and we're going to get our sneak preview we can't find out who dies or who not because they can't tell us yet and if you need a publicity company wentworth public relations that's me give us your website w uh, it's wentworthpublicrelations.com yes. very simple we like that absolutely thank you very thank much you. you've been pleasure. so Beautiful. Thank, Thank you for stopping in. So, AVEntertainmentLive.com, cutting edge, right in the face of it, making things happen. Hey, that's what we do here at www.AVEntertainmentLive.com. AVE TV Live. This is Jesse Terrero. And right now we have one of the stars of the movie. And I'm going to, I'm just, all I have to do is point to this gentleman's name right here, nice and big on the poster. Oh, baby, come on. Come on in here, sir. Get on in here. Six gun savior. It's Martin Cove. It sounds like, it sounds like I'm on a, um, um, where is it? No, a, 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 WWE a, a show? Carousel. And, uh, I can buy the carousel. And 
You want me to get dragging me in here so I'll throw the ball and give you a dollar to hit the three things. Hold on, hold on. We're going to disappoint him. We don't want your dollar. We want you. Oh, thank you. And that's all we want, man. Just thank you, you very much. And, and, and your, your whole, I mean, heart for our station, to the people and the viewers out there. Just give it to them good, nice, and insert it, and then go buck wild, okay? All right, but you got to meet my lovely... My lovely lady here, Charlotte. Charlotte. Come on in. Charlotte. Charlotte. Come on, Charlotte. Charlotte's the real thing. Charlotte. Char? Charlotte. 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 Charlotte Lake. Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte. Jesse Terrero from AB Entertainment Live. You're beautiful. Oh, thank you. So are you. <laughs> no, no, I'm not beautiful. I'm just, I'm, I'm just a silly guy having fun in an Italian way. I just want you to know that he spoke so highly of you, and we're so happy to have you on our camera. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. This is a fine, fine man. What, yep. is, what is it like to go places with this man? I mean, everybody knows his face. He's done so much. When you're with Marty, you feel loved and cared for <laughs> and cherished, and that's kind of the most beautiful yep. thing of all. So it doesn't really matter where you are. I think... Uh, he, he's one of those uh, men who are as organic in the grocery store as he is in front of the camera. It's really, really quite a treat to get to hang out with Also, Marty. not to say this man can protect you, too, because he's well-schooled in the arts. He is. We try not to pick fights. Remember, you know, karate is a defensive art, as Miyagi <laughs> said. John Kreese thought of it as an offensive sport. But I try to adopt it as Martin Cove. That it's a defensive art. How did you come about doing a crazy wild western like this? Because I believed, I believed that the only way to rejuvenate the western as a huge western fan was to do it with a surreal approach. And I had, I had several projects that I was developing, and unfortunately, they had vampires in it, and it wasn't, they weren't the cut, but they were historic. In other words, it wasn't a cheesy vampire thing. It really was terrific couple of terrific stories and I only developed them because I really thought that the only way to get kids into the theater was to you know put vampires in this movie and it was very how we approached it was very historic and and they were bitten back in 1200 from a um, you know a character who escaped the Vikings and it was quite interesting and so, the bottom line was that um, they asked me to do this and it approached the Western in a surreal manner with demons and evil and Eric plays, you know, the only character and then Roberts plays the only character who's got more power than I have. But I really enjoyed playing the gunfighter, dealing with life as a mortal, with the choice always to dissolve whoever I wanted to dissolve in any given moment, but I didn't choose to do that. So that was always the fun and the challenge. And I think this is the kind of approach people need to do to make westerns popular again westerns are such a great ride i know it's a kind of a funny statement but they they take a, the audience from point a to point b in such a different way than any other type of movie genre i i love westerns and 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 i'm, I'm glad to see that producers today are, are starting to back more and more westerns but i think there's a lot to learn in westerns and especially for kids don't you unquestionably Unquestionably. And even for women who don't really... I mean, what's your take on, on, on a woman's point of view when you see a good Western like Red River, The Searchers, even things like The Wild Bunch, Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, which are all ballets. They're all, they're all different kinds of Westerns. But if you had a woman's point of view, just like a child who's 12, his point of view, that genre could return again. What, what, what are you feeling about Oh, this? Marty, I, to be honest... I'm not a Western kind of girl, so maybe that's wrapping it up as an answer. You know, I think that could certainly be revive, revived in me. You know, I'd love to come alive to, sure, sure. to Western and understand the fine storytelling that you guys are saying is so poignant in a Western. Yeah. So. And, and that storytelling, the fact that Charlotte doesn't know a lot about Westerns is what, across the planet, is what's happening. Because they're dissolving. and things that were popular in the 50s and 40s. From 19, 1920 to 1967, one of every three movies made in this town was a Western. My grandfather did uh, uh, 51 years on the Warner Brothers lot, part of John Wayne's crew. Sure. And so, yeah, absolutely. The re-education process comes for women as well as it comes for kids. 
and we were just talking about that earlier, that if you have a good relationship on the screen, it's not about blowing up things, it's not about terminators, a good relationship, and you have a, a reasonable amount of action, kids would adhere to that genre. Stop! I can't stop it forever, Lane. You go to hell! Because they'll zero into relationships, not necessarily cars blowing up. So I just had a question. Are you scared of goblins? <laughs> the graphic situation of seeing demons in the movies, how well they're portrayed, somewhat frightens me to think of paranormal activity and being in the woods and all that. It was very well done. Am I afraid? No, to be perfectly honest. Oh, okay. You I know, would like a spaceship to land <laughs> in my garden, take right. me away, as long as I have the option to come back. I don't think that this man is, is afraid of too much. Um, your history in the martial arts world, um, all the movies that you've done, all the topic matter that you've covered in the different scripts that you've done, all the TV, everything that this guy, I don't think much phases you. I really think that that like this movie, you play that, that hero character well. But I, I don't even think it's about what phases you. You know what phases us as actors? Fear. Yes. That element of fear, the element of, I, I want Marty Cove. No, 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 we have Marty Cove. No, I want a younger Marty Cove. We have to have very tough skins, and yet we also have to be, as we were just saying, very vulnerable. Very vulnerable. It's a beauty. What was it like working with, with Eric Roberts? Obviously, you've been asked that question many times today, I'm sure. But did you have any one-on-one -on -one scenes with him? Were you guys on the set together, actually? Oh, yeah. That's all we have was one-on-one -on -one scenes. He's my, you know, he's, he, is, he controls me. Uh, he's the devil, and I'm, you know, the mentor. That's what we call our characters. But, um... Uh... He's, you know, he's a good actor, mad as a hatter, a lot of fun. We've done about four pictures together, and um, they're always, you know, they're always a guess. You never know what he's going to do next. They used to say that about Brando, and uh, you know, he's a, he's really a wonderful actor. In parting our ways, we really appreciate you taking this long moment of time with us, which is very unusual. And I really appreciate my partner Gil and I for the extra moments you, you, you took with us and asked our, answered our silly, silly questions. But uh, I really appreciate that. And uh, we wish you the continued success Thank you very much. Uh, in your career forever. If Charlotte wasn't here, I wouldn't spend this long here with you. <laughs> Charlotte, oh, I'm glad you're here because we got to spend a, more time. I know, I'm happy anytime. And we're on AVEntertainmentLive.com, A-V-E-T-V. Thank you very much for coming in. Could you do me a, a wonderful favor? Um, it, could you take a picture yes, of, yes, of yes. Here's, here's, do you know how to work a Samsung? Oh, my goodness. Uh, from the Radio and Records World. That's, that's right. where we kind of started. Oh, that's great. That's, great. Yeah, that's really and, awesome. And, uh, you know, Gil, Gil was, he, he used to work with me when he was a young guy, that's you know. Right. And uh, I, I've kept my youth, and he's just gotten older. <laughs> but no, no, just see, we love composers. So tell us, how was it to compose this film? It was uh, a lot of work, <laughs> that's for sure. When I met with Frank, the, Frank Zenka, the producer, uh, we, we watched the film together and really the approach we wanted to have here was really to have that classic Western Americana feel with a little modern touch. And so, because Six Gun also is such an unusual Western because of its supernatural component, it was really great to, like, I had to think about all mixing all these supernatural themes, but give, you know, have them play with, like, some nice, you know, dobro and, you know, having really that American style music to play them. Okay, I w I, let, me, let, me, hold on. Let, let me ask you something, because I always wanted to know this. Um, when you're, you're doing the movie, you got to review and look at the whole movie, and then you get into the music, like, this part I'm going to put up, dun -dun -dun -dun, you know. Is that basically how you do it? Well, it's, it's, it's basically that. Like, I watch the movie as I watch it. I, I try to get a feel for it, rhythm. Rhythm is the, the key to making the score, particularly for a movie like this. And so I start to get a sense of, like, the tempo of each scene. And so in my mind, I can already map that. And then the tempo tells me, okay, it's going to be more 
that kind of music or another kind of music. So, so. tell everybody your name again because we really thought the, the composing in this movie musically was, of, on the short clips that we've seen, was really terrific. So tell Thank us, you tell so us much. your name again. My name is Charles Henry Avlange. <laughs> You're a French guy doing an American Western. Oh man, Clint Eastwood all the way. Except you got to be Italian to do that. I know, but the thing is, I have Italian roots. <laughs> ah, hey, wait, 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 huh? wait, 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 wait. Hold on, I know a little bit of French. Bonsoir, uh, je m'appelle no, no, Charles. No. no, I know this part. The pont de pilote de nos para ti. The way? See, I said it so fast they didn't even know. <laughs> It sounded a little, it had a little Italian to it. <laughs> Italian, Mexican, English, French. Yeah. I hang around okay. with an Italian. So well, we're citizens that. of the world, right? Yes, like, yes, yes, yes. Been eating too much spaghetti. So, <laughs> I want to go back to one thing that uh, my, my partner said, and that's the dun a dun Because the dun a dun was really kind of funny. So, on three, everybody go, this is scoring the film, aviaentertainmentlive.com style. On three. We have an exciting scene going on. The guns are shooting, the walls are falling, the antelope are playing, and the women are running. And we have to have some thunderous music on three. One, two, three. Da -da -da -da. Go! <laughs> 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 in the choir, that's for sure. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's great. Only on AV Entertainment Live. Yeah, great great job. Again. Thanks a lot, Dad. Well, he, so he is the composer of the movie. <laughs> oh my God, it was it was good. It was good. I like this. We need to do more of this. So see, see how he just got into that and he he was himself? Yeah. See, that's what we like. We don't... We, 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 that's right. We kill the cue cards. Be real. Be yourself. That's right. Be yourself. I don't know. Maybe you wanted to be Bruce Lee when you're older. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you okay, we appreciate much. you, man. Okay. Really appreciate you. I did too. We got to exchange numbers. Keep in touch. See, Gil's our businessman. Uh, he's our secret agent businessman. He uh, conducts business, and I just have fun. That's all I do. This is Jesse Terrero. Brown Beauty is on duty. Gil got skills in the background. Exchanging cards. We're live at the Crest Theater. And we are for Six Gun Saviors. And, and by the way, we have the star of the movie. And I'm going to grab him because that's what I do. Oh, we got to get him in here. We got to get him in here. This is the star, one of the main lead actors in the movie. And he's throughout the whole movie. He is what we call the hero. <laughs> Yeah, I guess you could say that. I try to be, you know. Well, he's he's so darn good looking, you know. I mean, he, all heroes are good looking, you know. <laughs> right? But yeah, sure. You know, I mean, you, you can't be an ugly looking hero. No, no, no. Because then the ugly people who are evil can't be any uglier than you. I guess not. <laughs> this guy was great. On the movie clips that we saw here uh, earlier uh, this week, I, I really liked a lot of the action that you were doing. My family was slaughtered. God is ready to grant you redemption, but you must let Zathura succeed. You expect me to just sit back and let Zathura murder everyone? It is time for a cleansing. Can anyone really blame you for not sitting back while millions of people are killed? I'm worth more to you alive than dead. Don't bet on it. The character is a, he's a really interesting guy. I mean, he's a, you know, he's a regular guy, just like us. I mean, but it's, it's a, back then, the difference back then was that there's no law. You know, it's a lawless society. So, you know, when your family gets hurt, you, you kind of either have to take the law into your own hands or you let it go. And um, uh, so this guy takes the law into his own hands. And I think the question is, is how far are you willing to go in order to, to get retribution? And so it's really, it's a battle of good and evil. And um, you know he's he's constantly battling uh, you know, that line of you know I think that all of us battle that line of really how far are we willing to to go with people we we but how far the, and where the law comes in uh, and, and he really straddles that line and and um, you know he goes after it he goes after it and, and in the movies you can kind of just let it go and let it ride and um, he. He's really the out there. He's he saves a lot of people. I mean, he's um he's a guy who 
who is a, is a real guy. You can identify with him, but you can. Um, but it's that battle, that constant battle of good versus versus evil. And the cool thing about a timepiece like this, being a Western, yeah. is that you get to do a lot of things that that you might not be able to do in 2015. Oh yeah, well, you know, you're on a horse and in the middle of the West, and you know, there's what's cool about this is it's a supernatural Western, so. Uh, there's all kinds of interesting things. I won't reveal too much about it, but you know, you're, you know, things happen, and uh, you're visited by, uh, you know, otherworldly things that take place. You know, it's 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 a world that's beyond imagine. It's very imaginative, and uh, so I loved that aspect of it, it, where your imagination and your mind can actually come into full view. You know, what could possibly be there, kind of comes to fruition, and. Um, so it's that it's the imagination that 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 comes and and that rawness and power. What was it like working with some of the likes of some of the, the fine actors in this film? Well, I, Eric Roberts, you know, had had the most credits, and he's the guy who kind of jumps out at me. And um, you know, working with him was was really interesting. You know, he's quite a character, uh, and he taught me a few things on set. And uh, you know, and there's Marty Cove and, and some others. Uh, it's great to, to, to learn from them ultimately. I, I, I just want to learn from them. When the whole thing was done, I said, what am I going to miss the most, you know? I said, well, I've missed the people, you know, but, but gosh, I'm going to miss those horses. You know? so, okay. Thanks very much. My name is Kaleo Griffith. Uh, this is Six Gun Savior, and uh, I'm doing lots of audio work these days, and I do have a project that I'm up for. I probably can't talk about it. He's going to get it. So, let's, let's say our prayers. Come on now. So it's a, it's a it's a pretty good one, but I, I'm probably not at liberty to talk about it, so hopefully cross your fingers, uh, you'll find out soon. All right, we're crossing our fingers. Right, yeah. C -c crossing our fingers. Yeah. Okay, okay, cool. Thumbs up. Yeah. Thumbs up. All right, man, thank you very much. You. You. Great, great. Good luck to you. Thanks all for stopping in with us. Yeah. Jesse Torero at AVEntertainmentLive.com. AVE TV Live. What a great interview that was. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Here he is. I think we're, we're tracking him down. We Gil, did you, right did you find him? Yes. He, he tried he to get away. Outside. I, he was trying to get away. He was hiding back outside. Then. Were you hiding from us? Yes, he was I was hiding from the heat. It is really oh, warm okay. in here. So, everybody, this is Matthew Ziff, everybody. Yes, Matthew Ziff. Yeah. And if you don't know who Matthew Ziff is, you're going to find out right now everything about this young man. And, I mean, you're going to know something good about him by the end of this. And we're just going to tell so. you this. I hope you didn't die. A handful of us will stand in the way of oblivion. Go get your gun. Stop! That's me right there. Six Gun Savior with Matthew Ziff. Tell us what's going on, man. Oh, man, I'm having a good time here. I uh, got here a little early to, to make sure everything was finished, set up ready to go uh, saying hi to everybody it's really great to see everyone casting crew here um, I'm really excited for the film really excited for everybody to see it we're gonna everybody's gonna love it I saw it a couple days ago when we were doing the tech setup and all of that um, yeah I think everybody's gonna love it what did you do when you first got on the horse and got that experience of being the cowboy uh, you know what? It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, I, I have a good amount of experience riding. Oh, and there's something. I'm sorry. I'm just going to interject. This, this man, this man, you don't want to mess with. This guy is an expert marksman. Expert. <laughs> a marksman? Yeah. Has some no, fun. No, real marksman? No, he, he, can shoot, he can shoot the bullseye out of a car. So you can shoot an apple from Jesse's head? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's go yes. Let's go yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, see I that. wouldn't try it. Just oh, you know, that's not safe. Oh, I, I wanted to put that on Navy as a But I wanted to toss that in there because that adds a reality to the film and your character. Yeah, you know, it's it's kind of funny. Um, uh, Kyle Hawk Hawkins is my character. Everybody calls him Hawk. He is an expert marksman in the film, except for when he's riding a horse. He can't shoot from riding a horse. Oh. Which, by the way, is incredibly difficult. Okay, okay. But, oh, I was gonna say, can you uh, do that really? I can, yes. Wow. So there's actually a cool, there's actually a pretty funny scene of um, Lane, uh, our six gun, teaching Hawk how to shoot from riding a horse. And like, I'll give you a little spoiler, it comes in handy. <laughs> comes in handy. There's a puzzle here now. 
There's a puzzle. Comes in handy. You'll see. I feel like You'll Batman see. and Robin right now. You'll figure the, the it out. I, I promise. You'll figure it out. Well, so was this? Can you figure it out? No, I can't. Oh. I can't. Not on the spot. When you see the film, you will. So was this your first western? This was my first western. Yes. But it's not really a true western. It's sort it's of a supernatural western. It's a what is a supernatural western? Yeah, so, what is that? a supernatural western, this supernatural western, because I don't know, there may be other definitions, but this is our supernatural western. And it is, you know, it's not it's not a cowboy and alien kind of thing. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's, it's demons, or oni as we call them, and it's angels and the devil. And and some really cool uh, some cool characters. Were you excited that rap was done because you didn't have to work with horses anymore? No, I love horses. I love riding. That was really fun. I went horseback riding plenty of times since then. What I was excited for was you know since executive producer, post production. <laughs> oh, do you do you want to do more cowboy movies? I would love to do more westerns. I've done two westerns since this. Okay, okay, just 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 putting it out there. What if they wanted to do? wanted you to do something like a Clean Eastwood type of guy and, and be, be awesome. and be and be doing like 10 or 15 movies. I think you should pitch that to a studio. <laughs> I think we got to leave that. And give me right a call yes. when they say yes. I like I that will idea. leave that one on you to pitch that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you man for you for, for the interview here at aventertainmentlive.com. That's www.aventertainmentlive.com and with Matthew Ziff and uh, just a terrific movie, Six Gun Savior. And don't forget, any of you movie producers are out there and you need a cowboy, not a cowgirl, me, a cowboy, me, me right here. pick him. Mr. Ziff right here, Matthew Ziff, he'll do it all for you. And he's a real six-shooter kind of guy. No, it's Yahoo. Yeehaw. Yeehaw? No, Yahoo is the, the, the search yeah, engine. Yeah, thank no, you. Yeehaw is a movie. It's a TV <laughs> comedy. <laughs> Okay, man. He said he hot. Thank you very much, man. Right, Thank you very brother, much. Brother, thanks a lot. We are live at aventertainmentlive.com. This is Jesse Terrell with Gil Got Skills, Matthew Ziff, and uh, we're reliving our childhood memories, Gil and I, with hee haw, you know, and, you know, uh, hee hee, haw haw, hee hee, hee haw haw, hee haw. All right, anyway, right, from right. the community to the world, it's AV Entertainment Live. <laughs> All right, brother. Thank you very much. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, my name is Michelle Rose, and yeah, we're here celebrating our fabulous movie, Six Gun Savior. I play Elizabeth Russell. Um, it's a western, so I get to ride horses, shoot guns, and yeah. Did you enjoy it? Oh my gosh, yeah. It's a western. Uh, it was probably one of the coolest roles I could ever envision. I mean, Halloween is my favorite holiday, and the fact that I get to do this for a living and dress up and play these crazy characters that really have nothing to do with who I am in real life. It's kind of awesome that I get a chance to do that. Hey, we're back with you. This is Jesse Torero on AV Entertainment Live. AVEntertainmentLive.com. That's www.AVEntertainmentLive.com. AVE TV Live. We're here in the place to be at the Crest Theater in Westwood, California to see Six Guns, Savior, and one of the finest young actors who's going to be breaking out in this movie. In fact, he's broke out already. It's Adam Leclerc. Thank you for that introduction. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I should be like on WWE or something, right? Yeah, you're pretty good. You're pretty good. <laughs> You, you, you're a good hype man. So tell me, tell me all about your character in this movie and, uh, and, and how you prepared for it. Well, I don't want to give too much away, but, you know, this is a Western, and I basically, I, I'm the wild card of the story. You know, most everyone else is pretty clearly good or pretty clearly evil. I think I'm just driven. I have a singular goal, to avenge the death of my parents, and I'll stop at nothing. I don't sleep, I don't eat, and I'm a killing machine. What a fun part to play. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of, <laughs> lot of fun. There's some, you know, some great effects. I got some great experience with weapons. Jeez, guys, I got to ride a horse like every day for a job. <laughs> I went from novice to intermediate on this set. I hope, hopefully, on the next one, I'll go from intermediate to lower advanced you know you know and i had a few spills and that's how you learn you know that's right 
where are you going from here? What 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 stuff that you have coming out uh, and what are you working on? Because we understand this film wrapped a couple of years ago. Yeah. Well, it did. Uh, I mean, we've still been, you know, ADR sessions and whatnot up until just a few weeks ago. But uh, yeah, we're done. No, I'm on the market and I'm looking for a looking for a job. So hire this guy, okay? <laughs> uh, why don't you give your website, your agent, and all that good stuff? Why not? Let's do it right. You no, know, if you're looking for a job, we want to help you get a job. Sure. I'm with Cat Harris at Daily Talent. Look her up. She's great. And look this man up because uh, we're looking forward to see him in his uh, film in here in just a few minutes. We're kind of being shushed around here. All right, brother. All right. Thank you very much for joining us at AV Entertainment Thank Live. you. Thank you. This is Jesse Torero. We're out of here. We're going in the theater. We're scampering in there right now. I don't know what Gil's. He's already in there. Gil, where you been? Gil, we got to get in there. I was oh, water. Go. Oh, we got to go. We got to get our cameraman going. Let's give our props to our cameraman. Isn't he doing great today? Yes, man. Uh, props to uh, our our bodyguard slash, um, you know, video guy slash everything, man. We got to give him props. But you know what? We got to get in and watch the movie. Okay, we got to go do that right now. And uh, and uh, we're gone. We'll be back with you in just a few on aventertainmentlive.com, www.aventertainmentlive. The war that pitted brother against brother was coming to a close. But in the West, Another war was about to begin. My family was slaughtered. I wanted revenge. You ain't walking out of this room with your own two feet, Dylan. Uh, I beg to differ. What I got changed me forever. What is your life worth to you, Mr. McCray? It is said that when death itself walks the earth, it will bring about the end of days. Do you believe all suffer as you have? I wish I'd never been born. God is ready to grant you redemption. But you must let Zathura succeed. You expect me to just sit back and let Zathura murder everyone? It is time for a cleansing. Can anyone really blame you for not sitting back while millions of people are killed? In a test of faith, a handful of us will stand in the way of oblivion. Go get your gun. Stop! I can't stop it forever, Lane. Time is running against you. You go to hell! I'm worth more to you alive than dead. Don't bet on it. The world is AV Entertainment Live, and we're here. Last but not least, we got a beautiful woman here. Um, she played a, a special part that kind of touched me because. My family is Navajo, and she played a Navajo woman in there. And I, woo, I really like how you got down, girl. <laughs> woo -hoo. Thank I mean, you. she was awesome. I mean, the movie was awesome, and you played a good part. I mean, I was impressed. I mean, you know, are you Asian? I am, but shh, don't tell. Yeah. All right. Yes. 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 